Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's another late day. It's 25 after six. Of course, I told you I had that national sales meeting all week and it went up to practically 5.30. So I waited for my wife to get home from work, gave her a smooch, and then I got dressed and now I'm gonna go out for my walk because I'm pent up. And all of this leads me to today's topic, reliability, which these days, is seen few and far between. At my age, I don't have time, or I guess more to the point, I'm not going to take the time to deal with people that are unreliable. I'm gonna give you a for instance. You know that I said that I was gonna start working with models again, and the first model that I reached out to didn't show up. And I texted her, she was very apologetic. She said she slept in, and yes, I was pissed, but then after I calmed down, I was like, you know what? Okay, shit happens. So I reached out to her again, and she was, again, very apologetic, and we made plans to meet again. On the day that we were supposed to meet, I woke up, it was a little after seven, and I had a text from her. It was a picture of her in the emergency room, laying on a gurney with an IV. She told me that she it was in massive pain, and she did not think that she was gonna be able to meet me at noon. So I just said that, thanks for letting me know, hope you feel better. That is being reliable. Now, let's back up. I'm filming in a parking lot. Oh, you know, I, if you've watched the video, it was the guy that was, that, was, that was playing the accordion, you know, because he didn't have a job and he needed money. So I was filming that and I was approached by somebody and we talked, I gave him my card and he ends up calling me a couple of times and we talk about this, that, and the other thing. And he wants to start a YouTube channel. He wants, you know, to get to film, do all this stuff with his music. Great. So I said, my wife's working on Saturday. Perfect time. Why don't we get together and start shooting? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, let's do that, man. I'm totally, yeah, all right. So me being me, knowing damn well that I'm not gonna sit around with my thumb up my butt waiting for anybody, did not wait. And it's a good thing I didn't because guess what? He didn't call me. He didn't text me. We never did anything. And I was like, okay, yeah, screw that. I don't have time for that shit. And I forgot about it. So now, like two months later, I guess it, it's been, he calls me out of the blue. I'm old, I'm boring, I don't stay up late. My phone, both of them, my work phone and my personal phone, pretty much shut off at seven. I don't take calls from people. I don't take texts or any of that shit. That's my time. The only people that get through are those that, that have deemed emergency contacts, they can get through. But otherwise, I don't deal with that shit. So it's way after, it's way after that. And my phone starts ringing. So I just assumed it was another you know, vehicle warranty call. It wasn't, it was this dude. And of course I didn't answer the phone because I'm like, fucking kidding me? You, you blow me off, you don't, you don't like make any acknowledgement for, for two months and then you just call me out of the blue? No, that is unreliable. And that's something that I'm not gonna waste my time on. So today, whilst I was in this training stuff, he called me again. And of course I didn't answer it. And I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me? I, I'm, I'm giving you this whole lead up to tell you to freaking be reliable. If you say you're gonna do something, then do it. And if for some reason you can't do it, the least you could do is have the common courtesy to let the person know that you can't make it. I don't even give a shit why you can't make it. Just let me know so that I'm not wasting my time waiting for you because I could be doing a thousand other things other than sitting there waiting for you. And I always used to have a, everybody gets one, at one time you can screw me over and I'll forgive it and we'll move on. But you know what? I don't even do that anymore. I'm done with that shit. I have so many things going on as a creator, as a human being. And even if I was just going to lay there with my thumb up my butt, I don't, I'm not gonna take the time to waste on somebody that, that can't even remotely be reliable or at least courteous and respectful. Sorry, not sorry. You know, I'm not sorry. I've always said, you don't owe anybody an explanation. You don't owe anybody anything. But if 
you enter an agreement to do something with somebody and you don't do it and you know you're not going to do it, you could at least be courteous and respectful. And if you can't be courteous and respectful, I'm not wasting my time on you. That's the gist of today's message. And trust me, I'm not pissed. I'm not upset. I'm just hopped up on caffeine and I've been sitting inside that office all day and I'm just like, Nuh. so it may sound like I'm a little bit more angry about it and I'm not because I don't have time or I choose not to waste time on that kind of negative shit. It's just like I tell you, you get rid of toxic people, you don't owe them anything. And I consider that to be toxic. Someone that's so disrespectful that they can't take the, like 10 seconds to type out a, dude can't make it today, sorry, I'll be in touch. There's no excuse for it when I've got somebody in pain, in a gurney, in the emergency room, five hours before we're supposed to meet, texting me a picture, telling me that they're in pain in the emergency room and that they can't meet me in five hours. So nobody has any excuse if that girl could do that. Oh, and also, I did further test the Sony imaging app with the a7R4. I set up my little makeshift studio with the background and the 8200 Pro. And although it took me a few shots to get used to it and see what I needed to have it set at, I did take a selfie that I was actually pretty happy with as far as the lighting goes. I'm still a hideous ghoul, but I at least got a good picture. So again, I think things are getting better. I'm starting to learn that gear really well and all is well. So forward and up, right? Okay, that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, be courteous, reliable, and respectful on your way to forward and up.